Hey, what is going on today, guys? So recently, I just went to Walmart and got myself some of these no boundaries slip on shoes. And uh, yeah, so they were. Yeah. Oh, well, 16 bucks. Well, 16.98. So $17. And so they're a little less than these white Goodfellow ones, but uh, yeah, these Goodfellows were about 20 bucks. Um, so today, I'm going to be trying out these No Boundaries versus these Goodfellows. These Goodfellows are about nine and a half, while the No Boundaries are a size nine. I usually can bounce back between either one. just depends on what I'm really... Depends on the brand, really. But uh, anyway, so we're going to be doing a little Target versus... Walmart today and uh, yeah just seeing how it goes so other than that let's get to skating and we're going to start off with the good fellows
both shoes around a little bit. I definitely felt like the Walmart shoes were a little bit more comfortable um, just with the memory foam because I didn't really seem to need the insoles as much as I would in the Target shoes. But however, in the, the Target shoes definitely just seem a little more durable with a bit of a harder sole to them as opposed to the Walmart ones. So I would say the Target shoes are kind of the winner with just little to no maintenance on them as far as putting just some insoles in. So they are, the Target shoes are slightly more expensive at $20 as opposed to $16, $17. And uh, yeah, so Target does seem a little bit more quality, just um, they're not the most comfortable after skating around. You just probably should put an insole in them after, you know, before you really start using them. But other than that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and see you guys in the next video.